I made a notion board that helps me track all my packages and gifts, which is especially useful during the holiday season. Having one place to see what you ordered, the links, the order numbers, pictures, and know when it's being delivered makes you feel so organized, especially when you're buying a lot of gifts during the holidays, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna lose anything. So in this video, I really wanna go into how to set up a Notion package or gift tracker, and then talk a little bit about how I use the system myself in my like everyday today life. And then also go over some of the websites that I use to get really unique gifts for the holidays. Okay, so we're in Notion and we wanna create this package and gift tracker. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go into Notion and click the create a page. So go ahead and click that. I don't start with a board view, even though um, you, prob you probably thought, well, well, I'll probably start with a board view because you wanna see the Kanban board. But I always start with a table. So I'm gonna go ahead and click table. And it's gonna wanna have you create or pull in data from another database, but just close out of that. And we're gonna call this, um, I'm gonna call this YouTube packages. So that way I don't mix it up with my, my real packages, which we will, I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna give it a package emoji. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just create a page. So that way you have a line here so that we can open it up and edit the properties. So that's what we need to do. We need to think of like every row in this table is going to be a new package. And we're going to make a Kanban board, but I wanna set up the properties before we add the board view. And there's a reason for that because otherwise it gets all like janky and weird. So I'm going to just open any one of these and this is what um, a package would be. So I'm just gonna do like Lulu lemon bag. That's what I got for my mom for Christmas. And I'll show you an example of what it looks like. <laughs> but this is just the first thing that popped in my head. So I got her a bag, right? So what are the things that I wanna know about when I'm looking at this item? I wanna know who it's for. Is it a gift? Like who it's for? It could, it could be for me. Is it a gift? All the, What's the delivery date? that kind of stuff, links to things. So um, we're gonna go ahead and add some properties. The first property is cost. I like to know how much I'm spending on myself and other people. So I'm gonna go first and add a number property. So we're gonna do number, add that. Um, the number format, I'm going to make this US dollars. And then I'm gonna call this cost. And you can change the emoji here, but I'm fine with that. So I think this was 128. I think so. And then the other thing I wanna know is, okay, is it a gift? Um, I'm thinking about filters when I make these properties. So I wanna be able to filter yes or no on is it a gift or not. So I'm going to add a property here that is a select. I don't use multi-select that often. So I'm just gonna do this, is it a gift? Question, or I'll just do gift question mark. And that's going to be a yes or a no. And I typically will change the color of these. So the yes will be green and then the no will be red. Um, that just makes the most sense. So this is a gift. And then the next question is, okay, well, if it's a gift, who is it for? So you can say, you can add another select that is person. You could use the person property, but I do not recommend it because then they would have to be a notion in order to have them as a drop down. And then that's confusing because your mom is not, she's not gonna be a notion. So, <laughs> unless you have a very cool mom. So what you're gonna do is have this as me and then also do mom, also do sister, brother, you know, you could use real names too. So this is for mom. And then you can keep adding properties on top of this. So the other property is probably the delivery date. So I'm gonna add a date field and we're gonna call this expected delivery. And then let's just say it's coming on the 27th. So now you have a cost, when it's gonna be delivered, is it a gift, and who is it for? You can take this a step further. You can add additional things. So you could add um, when it actually is delivered, you could add and upload an actual photo of the gift. I don't do that because that's just doing too much. The only thing we need else to, tr to make this Kanban board is we need a status. So if I go in here and add this property, you would think I would use the status field. I am not gonna use the status field because it does weird things to when I 
it, it forces you to use certain statuses. I want to make my own statuses. I want to say processing, to be delivered, delivered. I want to use specific words, so I use the select. And I'm going to name this status. And I'm going to name my own statuses. So I want to to buy status. I'll make that red because it's in the very beginning of the stage. Then what is the next stage? Okay, um, it's processing. So you purchased it, great. So you're gonna add processing. I'm gonna make this orange and then um, out for delivery is the next one. And I'm gonna make that yellow and then delivered will be green. So that's what I want my Kanban board to look like. I don't want regular in progress done statuses. Like that doesn't make sense for my board. So now that you have that, you can go and say, okay, that is being processed. And then this section will be where all your notes will be. So that will be all the notes, the pictures, the URLs, links to things, anything like that. Um, that will all be in, in this actual note space. So now that we have this set up, we can go ahead and switch from a table view to a board view. And how we do that is we actually close out of this. You could just move, you just click on the left to move that. Then you're going to click this plus symbol and we're going to add a board. Now it may have just picked a random one to group by. So we're going to go ahead in this dot, dot, dot. We're going to go to the layout section board. And then I also want to change this group by it says group by gift question mark that's not what i want to group by i want to group by a status so go ahead and click that and then i want to show all my statuses and then i'm going to rearrange them so that they make actual sense and then now you have your board so this will be all your Items will be in to buy, processing, out for delivery. You can even change the, the, the property shown and show the person. So if I have that, then I can see, okay, that Lululemon bag is for my mom. Um, and it makes it really nice because you can see who the gifts are for and whether it's for you. And the reason why we added those properties is so that way you could filter. So you could filter on um, the person so you could filter on the person. You also could filter on the gift. So if, if it's a gift, yes, right? Is the person mom? And then you can really start, you know, slicing and dicing your data and seeing what you're spending your money on, that kind of stuff. So that's what the, the properties are for, is really for filtering. Um, that's kind of what I had in mind when I was building out those properties. The other thing you can do is add a calendar view. So we can go in here and add calendar and then it will auto populate your packages, right? In the dates that we said that they were going to be delivered, which is really nice because you can take a look at it and go, okay, I need to be home on Wednesday because I have a package coming and I wanna make sure that I pick it up because it was really expensive or whatever it may be. So this is very helpful. So now I just kind of want to show you my current, what it looks like in the middle of being used. Mine is constantly being moved left to right in my board view. So let's flip over to mine and we can see a real example. Okay, so this is my actual live board of all the things that I purchased. I actually bought a couple things the other day. So I bought some clothing from Aritzia. I bought some shoes. I ordered some gift cards to come for my credit card company um, as rewards points. I bought my brother a gift for Christmas. Um, and then here's the Lululemon thing that I was talking about. So when I actually order something online, just so you know the process of things, is I will take a screenshot, like the second I order it, and it's just Windows Shift S on your keyboard. You just hold those three down, take the screenshot, paste it in here, or just copy paste or paste the link. What you can also do is paste the link to the actual tracking of the package once you get that in your email, but this will get you far enough because at least worse comes to worse. If you don't get an email, you at least took a screenshot. You know the order number, right? Because you took the screenshot. You know when you ordered it, you have some details about it. And then you know when you're like, hmm, what was that gift I got for my mom? I don't remember buying a gift. Oh, click in here, bam. Same thing with my brother. Oh, what did I get my brother? Oh, that's right, I bought it from Filson, right? Because I took a screenshot and then here's a link to the actual 
tracking information. Like you leave yourself breadcrumbs so that way you're not confused on what was that thing that I purchased? When are things coming? When are things being delivered? That kind of stuff. And you can see I have tons and tons and tons of stuff that I've purchased. Some are gifts, some are not gifts. And I always like to use the little emojis as well. So I like have an idea of like, oh, that was a gift. Oh, that's clothing. Oh, those are shoes. Maybe I shouldn't be buying any more of those things. So this is kind of what it starts to look like. And then I also know like, okay, Jimmy's gift is it's out for delivery. Like I should be expecting it in the next couple days. This stuff I won't see for at least a week. That's kind of like my rule of thumb. So at any time I can open this up on my phone, on my iPad, on my computer and go, okay, yes, I purchased this stuff. This is coming. This already got delivered. And then you just like, when it's delivered, you just drag and drop. And it's just so convenient. And like, I feel so digitally organized. Okay, so now let's talk about some gift ideas that are very unique and fun. So I came up with a couple websites that I think are unique gift websites that I are like, they're my go-tos for gifts. This first one is actually for anyone in STEM. It's very customized for STEM people. So if you know somebody in any of these disciplines, cardiology, chemistry, engineering, computer science, blah, you can just click down here and go, okay, I my, my friend, she's a chemist major. Maybe I should get her something unique and fun for chemistry, like the coffee chemistry or useful data. That's kind of fun. I actually have this candle. Fun fact, it's right here. It's called A Prayer for Useful Data because I'm a data scientist. So there you go. I bought it for myself because I thought it was so funny. Um, and I bought another one for my brother. <laughs> so yeah, there's just all kinds of like really fun, unique things in here. Like look at this beaker candle, like I'm dying. Like what chemistry major or what scientist would not want that? Like that is a very fun, unique gift or this woman in science water bottle. Like it's just, or the, the great beards of science. There's just really fun stuff, like shot glasses. Just really fun, unique stuff, periodic table, as a towel, like really cool, unique things that you could go get gifts for, especially when it's super customizable to what they're doing in their day-to-day -day job or their, their major. And another go-to is actually this plant site. It's called Easy Plant. Both my plants are from this site. It's the only plant site I can actually maintain plants. Now the plants are really cool because they have like a reservoir, it's like engineered, so you only have to water them once a month. Um, I have that money tree plant, it's huge now. I also have the snake one. Um, they're very fun, affordable, nice plants, like more expensive than a normal plant, but it's because of the container, so you only have to water it once a month. I've gotten my mom plants, I've gotten my sister plants, my brother plants. Everyone loves plants. Now this site is also really cool. This is more for women, but it's very fun because it might look like a normal, like, you know, bag site, but it's not. Because if you search a state, like I search Florida or just an area, you could search Virginia, a lot of East Coast, um, but they do have a Pacific Northwest bag and they're very fun bags. They have like these little pictures. I don't know how to describe it. They're like, it's like this, they show the little like landmarks and stuff on the bag. It's very fun. And they also have like even like quilted bags, like a towel, pajama sets. Look at this little quilted throw. I mean, it's just so cute. And then you have the whole state and little landmarks. So I actually ended up buying this one, Pacific Northwest um, wallet and bag because it's got Seattle on there. It's got the Space Needle. It shows Mount Hood. It's just like a very unique gift for somebody who's like visiting or somebody who you went on a trip with and you want something to remember them by like this little wallet, um, super cute gifts. And last but not least, I love Jelly Cat. Now this site is like stuffed animals and they're so cute and so unique. So I like to go to this amusable section and you can get like any, anything from a chocolate milkshake to a wreath to hot cocoa, to a tree. Oh my gosh, the little gingerbread man. Um, just like super fun, a little snowball, just super fun little gifts, a little baguette. So maybe if, if you went to Paris with somebody um, and they have literally everything. So if I go like their news section, they've got every type of stuffed animal you could ever need and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. What are those? Uh, yeah, so I just, it's just adorable. You can get a little turkey with a little, 
beanie on. I'm just nodding. Their, their site is just so fun. You could just find any animal that somebody loves and you can buy it. There's even like sushi little ones because I did a little sushi setup. You can get baby books, um, personalized stuff. Just very fun website if you're looking for something unique, but also cool, but and also semi affordable as well. So hopefully this gave you some fun, unique kind of gift ideas, at least from some websites that I've seen recently and I consistently use over time. And also to get a little bit more digitally organized. It's really nice having that notion board to track gifts and make sure you don't lose something. So I'm very into digital organization. I have a notion board for everything from my car to my packages to my finances to my health it's all in notion and so i like filming these videos to kind of show you how i set up things to make it easier on myself so that i feel in control of things and if you like digital organization i do have a whole video on my book setup so i will link it up here and in the description below and it is all about how i digitally organize my virtual book library so it's all my books all my notes for my books how i have the system set up for me where i feel like I'm finally in control. It's taken me years and years to develop a system where I am consistently taking notes, putting it into the Notion database. It works, it fits. It, I haven't had a problem since I've set up the system. So I will link that below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.